Hi, this is Mark from Matterport. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Matterport Plus Revit plugin for Revit for Autodesk. Use the Matterport Plus Revit plugin to seamlessly import Matterport BIM assets and to convert Matterport 3D data, including point clouds like the E57 file and the XYZ into a recap and Revit compatible project. This is an improved workflow to essentially replace the original path that a user would take with recap. The first thing I do is I go to the store, Autodesk's app store, where as you can see, Matterport is already a featured app, but we'll type in the word Matterport just to show the process in, in case it doesn't show up for you. As we type in the word Matterport, the app plugin comes up. You would download this file. It's a small file to your computer. And this essentially updates your Revit program. So you save it to your computer, you run that program and it installs the necessary information. We'll go back to Revit and I'll bring up a new file. Just start a brand new project. I'll pick architectural. This works for any feature or any setting in Revit. From here, I'll go to the add-ins tab. And then I will manually select the account that I would like to find this 3D data. There's a number of files and accounts that I have on mine, but I select the one. And then from here, you're able to search the text of the space that you would like to bring up. A user would already have to have this matter pack unlocked in their account in order for it to pop up. And as you'll see, I'll bring up this version here and this will bring up uh, a warning that will say you did not unlock this matter pack. And that is what a user will see if they have not uh, manually unlocked that matter pack previously. So I'll go back in. It's going to pop up in just a second. There we go. And I'm going to select a space that I know already had a matter pack unlocked. This is the same office space um, that I captured uh, previously. This is a Matterport office space that I would like to be able to grab this 3D data out of. And then from here, I go down and I hit select space. At this point, I am saving this information to my computer. I'm creating an RCP, a recap project file. This is a file that is meant for Autodesk's Revit and other programs within Autodesk. So the RCP is what is now displayed. This is the point cloud data. It's in its most raw form. It's a uniform point cloud that Matterport produces. And this is used to facilitate the creation of models. If you need to model your space in comparison, the first competition a person would have to this workflow is the manual process of measuring with a tape measure or a laser disto distance finder within your space. This is taking that manual process and removing it and putting it directly into a point cloud output that is now able to be pulled uh, very quickly through Revit without having to go through the manual process of recap. The RCP is created with the RCP file itself and a corresponding support folder. If a person was going to take this information out and copy it or, 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 or back it up, it would be important to have both of these files together. And I'm going to separate them. And just to check the size of these files um, for people to consider as they're doing this work, and I'll paste it right in here. And the size of this information of these two files is just about 445, 445 megabytes total. And finally, you can use the Revit plugin to upload XYZ, E57, or BIM files 
If you prefer to upload a BIM file, you can order that directly from a Matterport scan in the add-ons section of your Matterport account. When a BIM file exists in your Matterport account, the plugin will download that by default, followed by the E57 and then the Matterport XYZ point cloud in order of priority. For more information about Matterport's BIM files and other outputs like the E57 and the Matterport XYZ output, refer to your account at my.matterport.com.